I believe that I can make you a great real estate investor in as little as 90 days. Now, when you hear that, you should be suspect. But what I will ask you to do is give me about 30 minutes. I will share with you a presentation that I gave at Flip Hacking Live. I've made a few minor tweaks to improve it. But the goal is to make you at least a better real estate investor. But I do believe if you follow the instructions and you execute what we're about to go through in 30 minutes, that you can become a great real estate investor in as little as 90 days. So if you give me that 30 minutes, let's go through this together. Let's let's see what it takes to be a great real estate investor. And you know what? I'm actually going to take these headphones off because I'm not listening to anybody and I don't need them. So one second. All right, let's uh, share the presentation and get into it. So again, the goal of this presentation is to really highlight how to become a great real estate investor. That is my goal. If you want to back that off a little bit and say, hey, I want to be a better real estate investor, no problem. But I will ask you at the end, what do you think? So let's get started. First, my story in a nutshell. I think it's always important to understand who you are watching, what is their background. Uh, we started investing, and I say we, the wife and I, investing 21 years ago. After getting crushed in the stock market, uh, we grew a portfolio from a single house to over 180 units. Uh, don't let that 180 units fool you. That is not the goal. You don't need hundreds. You don't even need dozens. I've seen people become financially free with as little as 12, 13, 14 units. Uh, but I only can share my story, uh, and that is our story. We don't have partners. There's no JV. This is not some fake math where we own 1% of these. These these are what we own in our, our various LLCs and uh, things of that nature. Uh, we were both working. So this is, uh, we are not in the real estate business. Uh, we did we weren't realtors. We weren't in a mortgage. We had tech jobs. We, uh, we lived in the Silicon Valley. Uh, we were raising a family and um, we had no free time. Uh, but the key, as you will see throughout this presentation, is I was able to carve out 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day set us on a path to become great real estate investors. Uh, I don't know about you, but our home market never cash flowed. Uh, we only wanted cash flow, not appreciation. Uh, so we had to find a new market. Uh, we did that only after wasting a year because uh, we were told to invest in our backyard and that just didn't work for us. The goal for us when we got started was simply four. We wanted four rental properties. And, you know, we thought that would make a better retirement. We don't want you to chase a hundred or a thousand. We think if you get the one, then four, then 10, uh, you know, that is the way for most people. Uh, for 15 years, we bought out of the MLS, Realtor.com, Zillow, et cetera. We didn't do mailers, driving for dollars. We didn't text anybody. We didn't do postcards. Uh, we didn't even network that much. We were simply setting up alerts in uh, the MLS uh, done by various realtors, and we would react quickly. Focus and daily discipline is what made all of this possible. Uh, it will be the thread that um, we pull on through in this entire presentation. I will tell you exactly what we did. I will give you exactly what I hope you will do uh, to become a great real estate investor in your market. Uh, that is the, the, uh, the goal of this presentation. But first, let's talk about the housing market today. All right, we're recording this at the end of October 2023. Interest rates are 8%. It is horrible. <clears throat> Excuse me, it is unaffordable. Uh, it's it's tough, right? We just had transactions crash below 4 million at 3.96, and I think they're going lower. But I want you to realize, as a new real estate investor, yes, you, a new real estate investor, this is actually a great time. The real estate market is slowing down. You can learn without rushing. If you were trying to become a new real estate investor in 2020 and 2021, you were getting run over by guys like me. Today, slowing down, less transaction, more motivated sellers. You can really learn your market. Second, financial engineers. Financial engineers are getting crushed, reducing competition. What's a financial engineer? That is somebody who thought real estate investing was easy. 
somebody who has never operated a building. They were playing with Excel spreadsheets and they got lucky. And worse yet, they may have gotten lucky and raised private capital, which is really hurting some folks. So uh, be careful out there. Good operators will win. We'll win big time the next couple of years. Uh, again, we do cash flow day one. We structure our debt accordingly. We are good to our clients, which is our tenants. And good operators will win. Motivated sellers, folks, motivated sellers will become increasingly easy to find. Uh, there are lots of reasons that people need to sell. And uh, if you can find one, you can negotiate a deal. And then lastly, price and terms. For the last couple of years, it's always been price and cash. As the market slows down, uh, you can use uh, terms to get a great deal. We just had Cody, uh, somebody who follows the channel, uh, once again, prove it's possible. He did what was called uh, a 50-40-10. He got a 50% loan from a bank. He got the seller to take back 40%, and he only put 10% down. When you do these and do these correctly, you can get a blended interest rate in the 5%. Think about that. Something in the fives with 10% uh, down. That is crazy. Now, it's hard. You got to find the right seller. They got to be open to the idea, but it is absolutely possible. So again, the real estate market is slowing down. That is good for you. It allows you to learn without rushing. Again, I believe real estate investing is a skill. And because it's a skill, we can focus and we can have daily discipline to get better, right? If we focus on getting 1% better every day, we can become great because we can compound that 1%. So I believe real estate investing is just like a language, a second language, just like a musical instrument or a new sport. If you focus on it and you have discipline, consistent practice, you can get better. I believe the secret weapon to becoming a great real estate investor or at least a better real estate investor is something I call a buy box. A buy box is the way to unlock learning. A buy box is two things. It allows you to focus. But, but, but most importantly, it allows you to ignore. And for a lot of new investors, the ignore is most important. And yes, folks, I will define a buy box. I will give you my exact buy box from 2001. I'll give you my tracking spreadsheet. It's all coming. But trust me when I say the key to becoming a great real estate investor is focus and daily discipline. The vehicle for that is your buy box. So what is a great buy box? A buy box, in my opinion, again, remember, I only had 20 minutes a day and I'm only asking you for 20 minutes a day needs to be a set of criteria, and again, I will give you mine in a moment, that produces 20 to 40 active listings. That's it, 20 to 40 active listings. If you have too few or too many, adjust your criteria accordingly. Once you have the criteria, then you lock it in. You set it up, set up alerts. You're going to look at it every day, seven days a week for 90 days in a row. You're going to be documenting changes. When you first create your spreadsheet, and again, I will give you the one I use in a moment. When you document all the changes, your list is going to get long. But as you go through it, you will start to understand what is selling, what is not selling, what is what is a good deal, what is a bad deal. That is the key to this. And again, remember, focus and ignore. If you take your buy box and nothing changed from the day before, Move on. Don't look at other stuff. Also, when you're building out your spreadsheet, it's going to highlight stuff you don't know. What is closing costs? What is insurance? What is property taxes? What is property management? What is interest rates? So start networking. Get to know more and more people. Also, tell everybody what your buy box is. Don't make it a secret. That's something I made a mistake. Tell everybody. The deals that we did in 2020 and 2021 were from our network because they knew what we bought. So here it is. Here's my first buy box. Remember, I never lived in this city. I knew no one, but the numbers made sense. Fresno, California is our chosen market in 2001. It's large. It was half a million people. Now the entire area is almost a million people. We knew nothing about it. Uh, but after speaking to 20 people, uh, we picked the following buy box. We chose a zip code, 93703, affectionately called the Mayfair District. 
single family homes. So not condos, townhouses, multi-units, dirt, mobile homes, none of that. We chose three uh, or four bedrooms, two baths, two car garage. Again, we were going for a active list between 20 and 40. We had to add another criteria. We had to get to a size, 1,250 to 2,000 square feet. So that was it. That was our buy box. Again, remember, the first thing you have to do is you have to set it up and then lock it in. We looked at this buy box, that criteria, for three years. That's all we did, three years. We got really good at it. We became great investors in the Mayfair District, three and four bedroom homes. That's just, that was our thing. So this is our spreadsheet. I simplified it to fit on the screen, right? Street name, price, down payment, repair costs, closing costs. That's how much cash comes out of our pocket. Then all the expenses. Again, you can add the columns you want. You want to split vacancy, expenses, and reserves. Do, do you do you? Uh, then you have your monthly rent. You produce a cash flow, yearly cash flow. And then the most important column is yield. Now your spreadsheet will grow and grow. And you will probably have over 100 records on your spreadsheet. In the beginning, don't delete anything. It's all good value. I would suggest adding days on market in a notes field. We'll have that. We'll talk about that more in detail. But again, it, this is a very simple spreadsheet. It doesn't have to be complicated. So make the spreadsheet yours. Uh, again, I showed you mine. Very simple. I stripped out a lot of data. But in the beginning, I would add date columns, like the date you found it, the date something changed. Add a notes field. In the beginning, you don't really know what you're looking at. So add a notes field. Uh, whatever you see, near a school, uh, alley access, like the kitchen, whatever it is. Uh, I would definitely add days on market. I personally think days on market is the most important variable as the market slows down. I think days on market is important because it will signal to you when you can write an, an aggressive offer. And um, without that, it's tough. So I would definitely add days on market. Highlight also what you don't know. If you don't know what taxes are, great. Write that down. Reach out to escrow. Reach out to title. Reach out to other investors. Do some research. Make ready costs. That's hard for a lot of people. Unless you're a contractor or you have experience, I suggest just doing ABC in the beginning. Over time, you will get better. But don't let make ready costs be the thing that you grind on and get nowhere. For me, in the beginning, ABC was simply this. A, turnkey, $0 out of pocket. It's, it's turnkey, ready for a tenant. Maybe has a tenant. B, lipstick, paint, carpet. That's it. C, full remodel, right? Need a new roof, mechanicals, kitchen bath, whatever it is. In the beginning, get a rough number, throw it in there. Over time, you will get better and you will learn. Also, net, identify networking opportunities. These are your opportunities to get to know more people. Real estate investing is a people business. The more people you meet, the more people that you will tell your buy box, the more phone calls you will get. And also, in the beginning, don't delete anything. Don't delete any rows. All data is good. Even if a property comes on and gets sold the next day, that's valuable. You know what's going on. Um, add a note column when it changed, all of that. Over time, you're going to start to understand what average return is in your buy box. For me, that's yield. You can call it cash on cash, return on capital, whatever it is. But focus in your daily discipline. You're ignoring everything else in your market. You will become a great investor on your buy box. Common questions. I don't know what market to pick. Doesn't matter. As I said earlier, real estate investing is a skill. Pick one. When in doubt, pick your backyard. Again, I chose Fresno, California after, after spending a year in the Bay Area. So I learned the skill, the buy box, all of that in the Bay Area. It's just the numbers never made sense. I left after a year. I should have left after six months, but I left after a year. Six months was enough time to go, it just doesn't work here, but I'm broken. I gave it a year. What if average is negative? Doesn't matter. The goal of this 90-day exercise is to make you a great investor. If after 90 days, you can articulate that my market is a negative yield or an alligator, as I call it, congratulations, you've completed the exercise. Now, Pick a different market. 
What if average is low? Again, it doesn't matter. You're trying to become a great investor in this buy box. And the goal is to understand average. So if you come back after 90 days or 100 days and say average is 2%, congratulations. You did it. Okay, great. Now that I know average, what is good or great? Now we're talking. In my world, in my opinion, you can adjust this however you want because your buy box is different. I believe a good deal is 1.5% better than average. So if your average is 6%, a good deal is 7.5%. And, and a great deal is 1.5% higher than that or 9%. That's it. That's what good and great are. Now your goal is to understand average, but only write great deals. That's the key. If your box, a buy box produces 6%, nobody should do average. Don't do average. You didn't just spend 90 days becoming a great investor in your buy box to do an average deal. Write better offer. That is the key uh, to building a portfolio and getting to your four rentals. Here are some mistakes. And a lot of you listening to this are going to commit one or two or multiple of these. One, having more than one buy box at the beginning. I can't tell you how many people, especially folks in real estate, they come to me and go, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do this one and that one. No, you're not. You're going to get all confused. You're not going to do anything. It's going to be just a mishmash and you're going to go nowhere. Nobody can cut the line. You can't cut the line. You've got to go through the 90-day process just like everyone else, my opinion. Two, keeping your buy box a secret. Tell everyone. In the beginning, I would make my email signature my buy box. Hi, I'm Michael Zilber. I buy in 93703, three and four bedroom, single family homes, two baths, two car garage. You just never know where your next deal will come from. Next, changing it every two to four weeks. This is about learning. You can't start learning Chinese, then flip to Japanese, and then flip to Spanish. Your mind will go bonkers. Don't do that. Once you lock it in, you're good to go. Go. If you have to change for some reason, you're just starting over. You're back to day zero. I believe most people will be best learning the skill in their backyard. Again, remember, we spent a year looking at our backyard. Why? Because we could drive properties. We could go through open houses. We can talk to people. I could not, I hope you hear this. I could not have learned Fresno from two and a half hours away. So I learned the skill of real estate investing and then I focused and then it was easier for us. It's just too hard to learn a market that that's far away. So learn the skill in your backyard is a great idea for most people. Here's some advanced strategies. So when you're into this and you want to, you really want to flex your muscle and your skill and become an elite or a great investor, understand how many different ways you can change or improve yield. Lower price, lower interest rate, higher rent, lower make ready, closing cost credits. There's all kinds of ways that you can impact yield in a positive way. I like to perform what if analysis on my uh, spreadsheet. What if I bought this house at this price? What about at that price? We're not, you know, change it around. See how your spreadsheet changes. Here's a fun task. How many ways can you get the yield to increase 3%? Have a go, have a crack at it. See how many ways that you can get the yield to increase 3%. You can play with rate, down payment, closing costs, rent, all that stuff. But have some fun, play with it. Understand what metrics impact yield. What else could you be doing during 90 days? You need to dig you need to dig into the areas you don't know. Make ready costs, taxes, insurance, talk to more investors. I recommend meeting at least two new people a week, right? If you have a buy box, you're telling everybody ask for referrals, ask for this. You're talking to agents. Good news, your buy box is full of agents. Call them, introduce yourself. Try to find two to five other investors in your market. Maybe not in your buy box, but your market. Ask for referrals. Get to meet more and more people. Start talking to lenders, agent, contractors, property management, et cetera. And again, tell everyone your buy box. 
So this is the simple path to become a great real estate investor, in my opinion. You must focus and practice daily for 20 minutes. Your buy box is permission to ignore. And again, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. Many of you are going to push me or test me or think you can do this, and you're going to have more than one. It doesn't work. This takes between 90 and 180 days to become great, to become comfortable in your buy box. Your goal is not to buy a home. Your goal is not to get a great deal. Your goal of this focus and daily discipline is to understand average. Don't get it twisted. Don't think at the end of 90 days, you're going to magically get a great deal. You will understand average, and then it, you will take time to get a great deal. The key to this after knowing average is you only, only, only write great offers. That probably means below list price. Maybe you ask for seller credits or seller concessions or rate buy downs or whatever it is. But once you know average, you don't do average. You only do good or great deals. So here you go. Here are the steps to becoming a great real estate investor. One, define your buy box. Two, look at it every day, every day for 90 days, about 20 minutes. Document the changes. Learn the variables that you don't know. Learn what the average yield or cash on cash return is. Tell everyone what your buy box is and grow your network. It's a people business. Folks, that is how you become a great real estate investor in your buy box. So there you go, folks. Thank you for your time. I am Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. You can find my amazing book on Amazon. You can also find it on Audible. So how did I do? Do you think you can become a better investor? or maybe even a great investor on your buy box. That is the key. Can you become a great investor in 90 days in your defined buy box? That is what I'm hoping you do. Worst case, you become a better investor. Best case, you become a great investor. I hope you enjoyed that 30 minutes, just a little bit less than 30 minutes. Take care of yourself. Let me know in the comments below. How'd I do? Thanks.